Leland Old Station has been engaged in a flurry of activity over the last year. Last fall, we had an 11-week major outage in Unit 1, and this spring, there was a 10-week outage in Unit 2. Some of the highlights from these outages include installation of ports in the boiler walls of each unit for the mercury control system and the SNCR, overhaul of the Unit 1 turbine, and overhaul of the Unit 2 generator. I'm proud to say we were able to complete these outages, keeping safety as our top priority. Compliance with EPA's MATS rule involved installing an oxidizer and activated carbon injection system to control mercury emissions. This system was functional before the April 15th deadline. Construction began on installing the selective non-catalytic reduction project this summer. The SNCR is used for NOx emissions. The way it works is a urea slurry is injected into the boilers to work in conjunction with the overfired air. Computer modeling has shown that the new system will be capable of driving the NOx levels to below regulation levels, so we are very confident the system will provide superior control for years to come. The project is expected to be complete and running in April of 2016. One rule we are working to comply with is the coal combustion residual rule the EPA finalized in April of this year. Due to the age, construction, and proximity of our ash pond to the Missouri River, we have decided to close the pond to comply with this rule. The challenge is that the rule states Leland Olds must stop depositing ash into the pond by October 19th of this year. We hired an engineering firm familiar with large-scale dewatering to design a temporary system to be installed by the required date. At the time we recorded this message, we are 75% complete with construction of the temporary system and we expect to have it functional on October 17th. The same engineering firm is working on preliminary designs and estimates for a permanent system as well as requirements for the pond closure. These activities are expected to take place over the next two years.